ever enjoyed. He is now touring throughout the country as the star of the George M. Cohan musical, Little Johnny Jones, and he's going to sing a number for us right now. He's gotten great reviews, and the audiences are jamming in to see him. Here's the song, Life is a Funny Proposition, after all. Would you welcome David Cassidy? David? I'll just be putting this down right over here. <laughs> Give my uh, regards to uh, Pierre for me, will you? I will, and you'll get the bill. <laughs> <laughs> he already gave it to me. <laughs> Did you ever sit and ponder Sit and wonder, sit and think Why we're here and what this life is all about It's a problem that has driven many brainy men to drink It's the weirdest thing they've tried to figure out About a thousand different theories All the scientists can show But never yet have proved a reason why With all we thought and all we're taught why all we seem to know is we're born to live a while and then we die. Life's a very funny proposition after all. Imagination, jealousy, hypocrisy and gall. Three meals a day, a whole lot to say. When you haven't got the coin, you're always in the way. Everybody's fighting as we wend our way along. Every fella claims the other fella's in the wrong. Hurried and worried until we're buried and there's no curtain call. Life's a very funny proposition after all. When all things are coming easy, when luck is with a man, why then life to him is sunshine everywhere. Then the fates blow rather breezy And they quite upset a plan And he'll cry that life's a burden hard to bear Though today may be a day of smiles Tomorrow's still in doubt And what brings me joy may bring you care and woe With all we thought and all we taught Why all we seem to know is we're born to live a while and then we die. Life's a very funny proposition, you can bet. And no one's ever solved the problem properly as yet. Young for a day, then old and gray. Like the rose that buds and blooms and fades and falls away. Losing help to gain our wealth as through this dream we tour. Everything's a guess and nothing's absolutely sure. Battle's exciting, makes we're fighting until that curtain falls. Well, life's a very funny proposition after all. Robert Carrera, Roger Moore, David Cassidy, from Little Johnny Jones. We'll be back. This is a whole new car <laughs> a career for you, isn't it, David? It is. Well, yeah, it is, essentially. And I never saw anybody chew gum through the middle of a song before. Well, <clears throat> has your gum ever fallen out? No, no. I almost choked on it halfway through the number I started talking. It's part of the character. It is part of the character. Actually, yeah. the original hat which you saw me walk out in was not part of the character. This is also. Yeah. It's become an extension. I don't want to say you weren't in show business before because you certainly were Thank with you, all that, I appreciate all that uh, craziness that goes on with the teenagers and screaming and yelling which I know you appreciated in those. But what you're doing now kind of a is way, a yeah. real sense of show and oh, it's Broadway. It's and, so wonderful. Yeah. You know? Cohan, who, uh, who wrote the show and yeah. who wrote that song, Roger, who's not from America, 
I didn't know. Yes, I know. And it, well, he wrote it in 1904. Oh, right. he wrote a wonderfully patriotic kind oh, of song. Oh, just you know. started Terrific. Everything there. against yes. England. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he gave us some of the great oh, melodies. Terrific. Have the fans followed you, David? Yeah, I... They're ten know, years older. You know, it's hard to... Yeah, they are. Um, and they're not screaming crazy fans. They're uh, sort of docile, kind of. Oh. No, they're wonderful. They're really terrific. I have to say that, you know, it's often difficult, and I'm sure that both of you uh, experience the same thing, to talk about it, you know, talking about oneself and your fans. But, yeah, it's really... I mean, what a compliment that well, is. Well, you really artists, you know? burst on the scene when you first came yeah. on the television and records yep. and everything else. Yeah. And then... I kept hearing, he's a hermit. He's a recluse. Remember that record, He's a Hermit? He's a hermit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Herman and the Hermits. Well, I tell you, I went through such an, uh, a tremendous... Um, uh, Life I, change. Yeah, and, you know, I stopped working for three years. Yeah. And it was, um, it was very difficult for me emotionally, you know. I, I felt like I had been robbed of my identity because I had been, uh, you know, uh, I personified that whole teen idol, um, you know, pillowcases and lunchboxes and all that stuff. It's very difficult to, to relate to yourself. You wake up in the morning and look in the mirror and say, Morning, star, how are you? It's well <laughs> to see you, you know? And I didn't feel good about myself, you know? Um, it was just a misrepresentation, a lot of it, because I was, A, much older, and I wasn't who that person was on television. And um, a lot of people made a lot of money. Now you found yeah. yourself. Oh, boy. And you it's found so a terrific. home on the stage. Yeah, it's terrific. Would you do me a favor? Yeah. You did it this afternoon. I watched it, and you really did it well. And it's a song every one of us knows and loves of George M. Cohan. Okay, only if only if I can take my gum out for this one. Would you mind? I mean, yeah, would that yeah. be my... Well, I don't know where you put it. Here. <laughs> it's a stylish show. Anybody want to buy David Cassidy's <laughs> gum? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Five dollars, Miss Miller says. Okay, David Cassidy in a great George M. Cohan song. Did you ever see two Yankees par upon a foreign shore when the good ship's just about to stop for old New York once more? With tear-dimmed eyes, they say goodbye, they're friends without a doubt. When the man on the pier shouts, let him clear, and the ship strikes up. Give my regards to Broadway. Remember me to Herald Square. Tell all the gang at 42nd Street that I will soon be there. Whisper of how I'm yearning to mingle with the old time from. Say that I'll be there long. Wow. Nice. David Cassidy. I love that movie. We'll be right back.